New Jersey Arts Annual at the Morris Museum. The exhibit features paintings, sculptures, and works on paper by 36 contemporary artists from our state. We thought it would be fun to go behind the scenes and see how one of these artists works. We chose sculptor Harold Oliarsh of Tenafly, who doesn't just work in studios and galleries. Sculptor Harold Oliarsh will tell you it's not easy for an artist to get his work on display these days. But Harold has come up with a unique solution to this age-old problem. He becomes a piece of sculpture and installs himself wherever he thinks some art would be appreciated. Downtown Fort Lee, for example. I was seeing things. I thought something was wrong with my eyes. I'm sort of taking art out of the context of the museum or the gallery and putting it into the public place. The gallery audience was a very limited audience, and, and I wanted my art to appeal to a broad range of people. I wanted it to appeal not only to uh, a connoisseur or someone who's very well educated, but I also wanted people who were just sort of normal, everyday people from every single walk of life to, to experience what something something called art, which is very exciting to me. That's terrific, that, that plastic soup. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks like a sculpture or something. I love it. So what's it like to be a sculpture? He must be so warm. He's leaking out of his eyes. He really must have been sweating. I yeah, it's kind of like fishing. You know, I'll sort of set myself up and uh, I'll just wait. It's almost like watching TV. All these things are happening right in front of you. And when I perform, I never talk. So people will try and engage me. Uh, sometimes people will run at me and try and frighten me and get me to move. And I just sort of become an observer and, and I'm very uh, amused by it. Give me a little five. A high five. Clearly, the feeling is mutual. As a performance artist, Harold says, he is life imitating art. Sometimes observers are inspired to imitate Harold imitating art. Harold came to the idea of living sculptures several years ago on the heels of a series of non-living sculptures made of cedar chips based on classical Greek and Roman figures. I didn't want someone to see it and think that there was a person in there. I wanted it to look more like a thing, like sort of like a an abstract kind of expressionist sort of figure. And so I was buying these oversized coveralls and, and sticking my little wood chips on them and then spray painting them. Harold's latest sculpture suits are made of silicone caulking. They remind him of George Siegel's plaster casts. He has installed himself at the Whitney, the Museum of Modern Art, and he has been politely escorted out of countless other major museums. As a piece of sculpture, that is, not as Harold Oliarsh. For me, the notion simply was that I was alive, and here I was making believe that I was art, or imitating art, insofar as I was wearing a sculpture and becoming a sculpture. You can see Harold's sculpture, though not Harold himself, at the Arts Annual at the Morris Museum in Morristown through August 21st.